Welcome back everybody to Deals McSteve and we're back with you guys with another Clash Royale video and today we are going to be gonna be talking about the new balance changes and we're going to be watching a few replays. Sorry I haven't been posting, I had the relog. Sorry I have, yeah I'm having a little Wi-Fi trouble. So sorry I haven't been posting posting recently, I've been actually uh camping for a week and uh and I didn't ha get service up in the mountains. So, and so the balance changes are coming on the 21st of June, which is on Tuesday, and t today is Saturday, so they are not that far away. So, I'll get back to you, and we'll hop into the first replay. Okay, so we're going to hop into the first replay, and now what we are going, yeah, I did drop down into this play, so that's why I'm in this arena. Okay, so the first uh they're changing is that the hog rider is actually now damage is being decreased by six percent. Which means that there is not gonna be uh stupid there's not gonna be the really uh hog poison decks anymore. The prince now has now damage has been increased by nine percent so it charges and hits the, hits the, hits the, oh, sorry, barbarians, like in the higher levels, then at a full charge, it will kill it in one shot, and not how it used to not be able to, which, and also, the P.E.K.K.A.'s damage has been increased by 8%, which means now, basically, P.E.K.K.A., we might be seeing more P.E.K.K.A. double prints in uh, the higher arenas, and so the next thing that we're going to go into is that we are, so also the goblin barrels, sorry, I just had to turn off, I couldn't hear it, okay, so next, the goblin barrel, the spawn time is decreased to one second from 1.2 seconds, so do you know how when you throw the goblin barrel, and it hits the, uh, it hits the, t tower the goblins are frozen for a second and then they attack so they made it so they will start attacking quicker and now the and so that's kind of good i can see what they might be doing i i can see probably a kind of a few new decks coming out in the future but they've actually have had a lot of uh updates recently now so this these next two I got so mad when I found out, where I was like, no, because I, because I didn't have service, so I, and my phone died, so I had no idea that these were coming out until when I got back this morning, on Saturday, I think this is today is, uh, let me see, I'm think I'm trying to think, okay, it's the 18th, I just, I just checked my calendar. So today is the 18th, and so we only have a th three more, a few more days until it came out. And so now, the new, uh, and these have been real. I got really mad at. So first off, the expo, it is now the deploy time has been decreased to four seconds from five seconds. No. The Expo's back, guys. It's back. And it's better than ever. <laughs> it's back. Only so decreased from 4 seconds to 5 seconds. And it's also, its hit points have been increased by 18%. So now it has more health so it can do more damage to, your, to the tower. We're going to be seeing more Expo decks later. Okay, I'm going to jump into another replay. Be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so we are back into the another replay, and so what I'll say is that the expo's back. This is gonna be terrible. Uh, now I don't know what Supercell was thinking, having because they've seen what the expo has done in the past, and I don't think it's really a, that's actually not that good. I do not want the expo to be back, <laughs> and this has also been. Giving kind of stupid. Listen to this. The mortars deploy time has now been decreased to four seconds from five seconds. So now the mortars back. 
It was, they nerfed it in the other, in the update before that, and now they want it back again, because <laughs> they don't see it anymore. And now, bam, it, it, so they nerfed it, and then they buffed it. What the heck? And now also, the next update that they're doing is that the furnace is, uh, its lifetime has been increased to 50 seconds from 40 seconds. You have, no, I have not seen basically any furnace decks at all. I, but when I saw it, I did make one deck having the furnace in it. And now next is that, uh, the guards, they're getting another buff because nobody uses the guards because they're so weak but now so when they they're when they lose their shield uh they they get pushed back now they got rid of that so now the uh so now they can be more useful so they so they can keep attacking uh they can keep attacking a troop even even when they're Shield's been lost, so they don't get... Like, if it's a range troop, then they're attacking it. If their shield gets pushed, hits them, and they'll be pushed back, then they'll get killed by the range units, but they won't now. And so then, the next the next thing is the witch has also been... In, its damage has been increased by 17%. I think it's because the witch, when I first started... Playing Clash Royale, the two worst card, literally the, one of the two worst cards in the game, was the Valkyrie and the Witch. They made the Valkyrie way better, and they still haven't done anything to the Witch. Then they made it kind of better in the previous update, but nobody still they don't see her at all, except for in the lower arenas when that's their only epic. And then now, and now they're trying to hope that she can be used more often. And then also the Lava Hound. Has its damage has been increased by twenty eight percent? I think they did this because uh the because the lava hand's so slow and it does no damage. It does like I think a level one lava hound does like twenty damage per hit, and so it's terrible. So I think this is that's actually a really good idea, and so the one elixir skeletons uh the one elixir skeletons the spot they spawn. Only three now, instead of four. So that's actually pretty useful, so they can't distract, like, a prince, mini P.E.K.K.A., P.E.K.K.A. that easily anymore. So that's actually pretty good. And so we are now, uh, so th this was the deck I was showing with the furnace and the witch in it. And then the cannon, its hit points have been decreased by 8%, so the... So the cannon's not like the best defense if for someone's still using a hog, but I think they kind of made it so they you could still defend with the hog rider. And then the Tesla, this is the final one. The Tesla, uh, its hit points have been increased by eight percent. I remember when the Expo got uh nerfed, the X the Tesla also got nerfed, and I think they're trying to make it better again. So the so this was the deck I was talked about with the furnace in it. It's only level mine's only level three right now. So, I do need, uh, yes, yeah, so that on Tuesday, that lifetime right there will go up to 50 seconds, and, yeah. So, this deck is a 3.3. It's not the best deck, because I need higher, I need a higher level furnace, and, and I also want this at level 7, but I don't want to use all my gold on that. And so, yeah, I think we'll just go into a live attack. And then we'll wrap up the video from there. And let's go right into it. Okay, so we... Okay, we're, we're getting paired up by Judas from the House of Pekka. Okay, let's start it off. He's also a level 7. Let's hit him with a good luck and a thumbs up. Oh, no. No! We're facing the spawner deck, guys. This deck's not make good at spawner decks that much. <sighs> nope. Okay, that's value. Bam. Okay, we got this freeze in there. Bam. Oh, get the... Oh, do it. Yeah. 
Yes! We got so much damage off. This prince is going down. Okay, now we're going to need some uh, knight in here. No, that pr oh, that prince won't do as much damage. He has a level 6 musketeer. What? Holy cow, he's at a level 7 with a level 6. I think he might have must have gotten a uh, super magical. Why is he using and he's also using the wizard, which is one of the worst cards in the game. This guy's deck's so weird. Let's go. I want to get this tower down. Yes! Okay, got the first tower off very fast. Get a few hits off on that. And now, what should we do? No, we have to. I don't want to, but we have to. We have to put the balloon out. We, we don't really want to do... I can't really use anything else. So that's going to go for the right crown, crown tower. And right now we just have to defend these barbarians. Oh, crap, minion horde. Fire. No, I missed so much. Oh, I got... I got a... Text from my cousin. He's at Nitro Nitro Circus right now in Boise. He got some he got some nice tickets there, and I said to send me to text me some pictures. Okay, so I have to use a hog rider on defense. No, they're gonna take out the tower. Oh, he almost took out the tower. But does he have any direct damage? Or no? Does he have no direct damage? So right now, we just have to defend. No, 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 no. Get away from the tower! Yes! We won it! Oh, that was so close! Oh, good game! Oh, that was close. We got silver chest and some gold. Man, that was close. Okay, guys, see, that was this was a good episode. See you guys. Oh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.